Now, for some of you, you want to make sure that you can communicate with your kids, but you don't necessarily want to give them a smartphone. Well, there are other ways to communicate with them. That's why we bring in our family tech expert, Miss Sarah Kimmel. Sarah, you're not related to Jimmy, but uh, thank you so much for being with us. We always like to see you. Thank you. Yeah, I love being here. Now, tell us quickly about your title and your job, what you do. Sure. You know, I just help families understand and manage the technology in their home through my website, podcast, things like that. I mean, there's so much technology and I'm just trying to help bridge that digital divide. Well, thank you. We appreciate it because there is so much. Sometimes it can be overwhelming. Let's talk about the four alternatives to a smartphone. So the parents don't necessarily have to give their kids access to all of that, but they can still communicate and track them. Yeah, for sure. So there's four that are my favorites. Um, the first one is the Gizmo Watch from Verizon. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's a Verizon exclusive, but you can buy a separate plan if your family doesn't have Verizon specifically for the watch. Um, it has step goals. It has GPS. It has to-do lists, alarms. So it has you know and the way to text or they can call you from the phone itself so that they can say, hey, my tummy hurts, but you can preset those different text messages that they can send. I like it. And I like that that one has a step goal as well. Just like adults, we're trying to reach our steps and make those exercise goals. So good to start the kids young as well. Now, this next one, it doesn't have a screen, but it, you still love it. Yeah. So this is the only one of the four that does not have a screen, but it's a really great communication tool. It's called Relay right. Go and it acts more like a walkie talkie. It's kind of Got like it. a tiny little speaker and it will be able to, you know, talk to your mom or whatever from the park, from your friend's house, if you could go to any of those places right now. Um, And they really just act like a walkie talkie and speak through the speaker, but there's no video or anything like that. Okay. And if somebody was debating, should I get one with a screen or should I go with that one? What would you say? Um, you know, I think it depends on the age of the child, you know, a okay. younger, younger child, I would probably definitely go with the Relay Go, um, just like because it. it's really robust. They're not going to, you know, it's cheap. If they drop it, lose it, it's not going to be a big deal. All right. Now we've got two more. What are they? Um, so the next one is Gab Wireless. Mm-hmm. This is actually a Utah-based company, and cool. it has um, it has no internet, no apps. You can't send photos. It only does texting and calling, and so it's a really good alternative because it looks just like a regular smartphone. This is it. Oh, wow. um, so you know the kids can kind of pretend like they have a smartphone, even though they don't, Smart. and you can still give them those access make them feel like it is. And then how about if we want to give them a flip phone, you've got an alternative to that as well. Well, the, the, it, I, the alternative to a smartphone is a flip phone, just the old school. <laughs> oh, you're saying an actual phone. <laughs> saying an actual. It. Those are actually um, really durable. Right. Cause you know, it doesn't have apps. You can still text. You can still take pictures. A lot of people don't remember that you still actually have access to the internet. Right. It's just really difficult to type on because you're using that T9 typing. I don't know if you remember that, but I do oh, not want to go back to that. I do. I do. Well, Sarah, you're wonderful. I actually kind of missed my flip phone just cause it was so durable, but uh, if people want to get more information, your website is? It's familytechzone.com and I'm at family tech on all social media platforms. You're the best. Good to see you, Sarah. Take care. Thank you. You too.